All right, you're going to need your calculator. In the program, you should have a quad form or some version of it. You have TI-84, I think you already have it as a separate entity. If not, get it from somebody. Over to your long hand, like you probably did in uh, Pre-Calc or Algebra 2. Get the quad Today our discussion deals with using KC values. So this is going to be the most mathematically challenging of all the sections of this chapter. Um, so what we're going to do is that we're going to look at KC and using something that we call ICE. I think we talked about this before. Um, ICE's initial uh, concentrations. Uh, the change in the concentrations and the equilibrium concentrations and smoke clips. And so what we're going to look is how we can delve into this much more deeply than what we've done up to this point. So we're going to take a look at the odd number problems uh, on pages uh, might help, uh, 686, 687. We wrote three odd number problems, numbers 57, 59, and 61. In number 57, this is the setup here, we're given concentrations of carbon monoxide and chlorine as 0.012 molar and 0.025 molar. Now this is at equilibrium, so there's no ice involved in this particular problem. This is just a basic algebra problem to get our uh, appetites wet a little bit here. Um, and we're asked to find what is going to be the concentration of COCl2 under these conditions. All right, so this is our KC value. We can use 1,130 if we want that fine either way. But we know that this is going to be equal to concentration of products, COCl2, over the concentrations of our reactants, which is 0.012 times the concentration at 0.025. Well, like I said, this is just a very simple algebra problem. Had the COCl2 been at the bottom, you'd have to put a 1 on a year across multiply. It's not. This is even easier than that. All we have to do is get rid of the denominator. So we're going to multiply both sides by 0.012. If I know how to write a 1, that would be great and helpful. 0.012, and we're going to multiply by 0.025. And we're going to do this on both sides. Okay, so this is uh, going to cancel out over here, and this is here. So our concentration of COCl2 is simply going to be a product of all three of these numbers. So if I do that, I get 0.369. And because this is concentration, we need to have a label for this. This is moles per liter. That's all there is to that, just basic algebra skills there. The next one's a tad more challenging. In fact, I'll say a much more challenging. This is where quad form comes into play. In this particular case, we're given, uh, on problem number 59, we're given 20 double 15 moles in a 5 liter container. And since we need concentration to use the KC, we have to divide those out. We get 3 times 10 to negative 4 moles per liter per mole. Or if you want to write it down, 0 0.0003, you have all your zeros. Anyway, um, this is going to go through a change. Now remember, when a reaction takes place, the reactants collide together, create new products. And that means we're going to decrease the amount of iodine and we're going to decrease the amount of bromine. And we're going to then increase the amount of IDR, but notice that the coefficients here are 1 to 1 to 2. So if this is x in the change, and this is x in the change, then this has to be positive 2 of x in the change. Twice as much and the opposite side because it's on the opposite side of the double arrows. So that gives us then 3 times 10 to the negative 4 x, 3 times 10 to the negative 4 x, and 2 x. Okay? 
Now, that two up there, even though we've doubled here, we still have to account for it again in this equation for Kc, the Kc expression. So this is going to become concentration I dr squared. And I can't count the number of times students overlook that too. So please be careful when that happens. Over the concentration of I2 times the concentration of dr2. Okay, now uh, I'm just I like scientific notation for really large numbers and really small numbers. This is not one of those. So I'm going to rewrite that as 120. It's equal to, and then I'm going to plug in my values here. This is 2x to the quantity squared over, and i2 is uh, 3 times 10 to the negative 4 minus x. And dr2 is, well, now even though I can put a square there, it's going to be important for me to not write that as a square, write it as two separate binomials so that I can multiply them together using the FOIL method. Right now. Okay, now, 2x quantity squared is 4x squared. Here's another mistake that students make here. They will square the x, but they'll forget to square the 2. What are you going to do? You no. Know? So 120 equals 4x squared on top. Now, we're going to follow this out, and then we're going to rearrange this so the x squared is first, because I am going to be using quad form on this thing. OK? So when I do that, I get x squared minus 6 times 10 to the negative 4x plus 9 times 10 to the negative 8. Trust me, that's what it is. You do it on calculator and stop. Make sure I get it right, because I am old. I'll forget, but I have to be really old not to get it right. All right, so now what we do it out at this point is we have to get rid of this ugly denominator. So we're going to multiply both sides by this denominator. So I'm going to multiply by quantity x squared minus 6 times 10 to the negative 4 x plus 9 times 10 to the negative 8 on this side. So that will cancel out here. And I'm going to multiply that over here as well. So x squared minus 6 times 10 to the negative 4 x uh, plus 9 times 10 to the negative parentheses. So I'm going to multiply 120 by each of these. Okay? So that's a leaving 4x squared over here. But let me get through the, the disaster here that it's multiplying this out. 120 times x squared. Uh, let me see. Oh, I know. 120x squared minus. 6 times 10 to the negative 4 times 120. That's going to be 720 times 10 to the negative 4, uh, which is 7.2 times 10 to the negative 2. And there's an x on the end of that thing. 120 times 9 is 1,080. So that's 1,080 times 10 to the negative 8, which becomes, oh, I didn't see I made a wrong sign right there. I better fix that. Minus and not a plus. Um, so it'll be 1.08 times 10 to the negative fifth equals 4x squared. That's an ugly split. But the nice thing about the calculator it isn't so ugly if you can get everything on one side so that equal to zero. So now we gotta subtract 4x squared. You get that equal to zero. I hate this thing. Minus four, oh my lord, okay, wait a Minus four x squared here, minus four x squared here. Dearly love the smart board. It's going to get some money of its own. There's not a whole lot I can do about it. So that's going to give me 116 x squared minus 7.2 times 10 to the negative 2 x plus 1.08 times 10 to the negative fifth 
equals zero. At this point, I'm going to quad form this puppy. Go to program and then quad form. And uh, A here is 116. Uh, B here is a negative 7.2 times 10 to the negative 2, or if you want to put negative 0.072, that's fine too. That's what I'm doing, because that's no need to do that. Uh, enter, and then C is 1.08 times 10 to the negative 5th. 1.08 e negative 5. And hit enter. And I got two answers. Well, that's not very nice, but let's put them in there. X equals 3.67 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per meter. And uh, the other X we have here is 2.54 times 10 to the negative 4 moles per meter. Now, this is so sad, they give us two answers, but there's only one correct answer. 